Hey folks, and welcome again to the More Summer 2022 Adventures Day 11. Um, everybody's asleep but me. <laughs> it's been one of them days. We uh, we had a little over four, almost, almost five hour drive today. Um, coming from uh, Mitchell, South Dakota, South Dakota, all the way across to uh, Rapid City. You know, constant light wind, uh, you know, crosswind from the south as we were headed west. But that's to be expected uh, when you're in the plains of the United States. You know, there's there's always wind blowing, uh, usually from the south, but sometimes from the north. And today was the south. Good day. You know, I mean, the weather was nice. A, a few construction areas, but otherwise it was good. A couple highlights, though. Um, one of the, the rest stops that we stopped at... Uh, well, the only rest stop that we stopped at was the Lewis and Clark Expedition Center. And uh, this is the first time they crossed the Missouri. Um, and of course, they've come up in Mississippi. Uh, you know, they, le they left from St. Louis. You know the, you know the deal. <clears throat> but uh, it was really, really... And, on the other websites, on my Facebook page, and then the other groups that I belong to, um, posted some pictures from from there. And there's also a a statue called Dignity. Uh, three local uh, Sioux women were the models for the statue, and it's it's tall. I mean, it's 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 probably thirty feet tall. Beautiful, beautiful sculpture. Um, and of course, I got pictures of that. But just the the whole concept of the Lewis and Clark expedition, not knowing one if they were ever going to get home, two how long this thing was going to last, three what they were going to find, you know, uh, peaceful Native Americans or unpeaceful, you know, whatever. The weather, everything, it was all unknown. But yet they had the fortitude and the. the intestinal fortitude to to go ahead and, and tackle this task that the president had given him and it was basically and a lot of folks don't realize it it was a military exposition all right so it wasn't just a couple of guys going they were on orders uh you know from the president under the war department to check it out war department as before the dod okay uh, i think right after world war ii or Right during World War, just before World War II, they changed it from after. They changed it from the War Department to Department of Defense. But anyway, another story, another history. Uh, but beautiful uh, example. A display there at the Visitor Center. Very informative. I really enjoyed it. But, uh, and then two hours later, we finally get here to uh, Rapid City uh, to the Rushmore Shadows. Uh, campground and shortly after that Sean and Amanda showed up so you know their flights were good and, and they arrived here safely so we've got uh, four or five days to spend together before we have to part ways again and uh, the big guy has to start school next Wednesday a week from tomorrow so, but it's going to be good to, to spend some more time with him three or four days here you know the family and, and speaking of good things folks um uh, the scriptures today, it it really emphasizes, if you will, my video yesterday. You know, and, and today's scripture is Psalm sixty eight nineteen. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation, Shila. Blessed be the Lord who loads us with benefits. I've told you before. And I'll tell you my my you know last breath. I am so grateful, yet so undeserving, that God has blessed me the way He has. Okay. That uh, you know, blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits. You know, so unworthy, but yet so grateful. The God of our salvation. Another version of this and there's a couple I'm going to read to you today blessed be the Lord who bears our burdens 
and carries us day by day. Even the God who is our salvation. Sheila. Pause and calmly think about that. Okay, that's what Sheila means. Pause and calmly think about that. Hold on, I gotta turn off. The wife's getting it. Okay. Air conditioner just kicked on. Thought Let's be the Lord who bears our burdens and carries us day by day. Yeah, I can go into more detail about yesterday, you know, driving along, not knowing what this issue was with the electric, knowing that it had to get fixed somehow, some way. You know, as it was, it was someone who was learned, took almost an hour to find it, but it was a very simple solution. So now, you know, my levelers and all that will work. Still have an issue with the uh, with the inverter. Don't know uh, exactly what the, what the issue is with there. And uh, you know, the generator, you know, it, it cuts off periodically, but you know, it's in God's hands. But that's what I'm saying. Blessed be the Lord, who bears our burdens day by day. You know, I turned it over to God yesterday. He carried it today. He'll carry it tomorrow. I don't need to get, you know, all wrapped up in a fizzle about it. Because God's got it. God's in control. Whether it be the RV, whether it be, you know, traveling and the weather and whatever. I mean, we're supposed to have beautiful weather the whole time we're here. So we can't complain about that. We can just praise God and thank Him for it. You know? But who care, who bears our burdens and carries us day by day. Even the God who is our own salvation. Now think about that. Okay? Think about that. Even the God who is our own salvation. Alright, now this is Psalms. This is Old Testament. But we can take it a step further. Because there's God the Father and God the Son. And God the Holy Spirit. Even God who is our salvation. It was God in flesh. It was God the Son on that cross who shed his blood for our salvation. But yet somebody as holy and as righteous as he is, he still comes down and picks us up, you know, and carries us. You know, it's like that, that poem about the footsteps in the sand, you know. There was two sets and then there was one. Well, why was there one? Well, son, that's when I was carrying you. That's that scripture right there. Who bears our burdens and carries us day by day. And we don't have to let it go. Because we are his. We are paid. The, we were adopted into the family of God through the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, I've told you before, folks. You know, the name on the door... Or the name on the side, outside the front of the church, is not going to get you into heaven. That religion is not going to get you into heaven. That doctrine is not going to get you heaven. The only thing that's going to get you into heaven is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And folks, if you don't know Christ, I urge you, right now, just say, Lord Jesus, forgive me for my sins. I repent. Help me and guide me. Give me the Holy Spirit to lead me that I may be a faithful servant and follower of yours. In your name I pray. Amen. And that's all it takes, folks. And you can have this same assurance. The same assurance that I was talking about yesterday that I ain't worried about it. It's in God's hands. Today's, and you see, I didn't read that until this morning. And of course, I'm sharing it with you tonight. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits who carries our burdens, bears our burdens and carries us day by day. That alone is guaranteed to you by being a child of God. Because when you ask Christ to forgive you for your sins and, and ask the Holy Spirit to come inside you and, 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 and lead you and guide you, you are adopted 
into God's family. And you can boldly go to God and say, Hey, Dad, I got an issue. Dad, I got a problem. Dad, I need some help. And he's going to be there. It says so right here, who bears our burdens and carries us day by day. Folks, y'all be blessed. We've got a, 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 a lot of stuff on our plate for the next four days. Hopefully the video won't be as lit as it is tonight. And I'll get it posted later here just a little bit. But uh, y'all be blessed and God willing we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.